Hello, my name is Dear Kolalabi, and I will be taking you through how to capture the area of a farm on the Agri for Food and Jobs Plan exercise. So, I'm going to be taking you through how to capture a farm location correctly. The first thing to note is that you must have an Android phone and your location must be turned on. Once your location is turned on and you go to this page on the app, the location will automatically show and give you the accuracy of what we need to do. If I swipe left, you see that there's instructions for you to walk around the perimeter of the whole farm. This is to ensure you can capture the corners of the farm. Typically, the app is going to draw the shape of the farm for you as you record the locations. If the location of the farm is not even, it does not matter. Try to capture as many corners of the farm as you can during your exercise as you walk around. Now I'm going to start this process by clicking Start Geoshape. You will notice that at the top of the screen is a green bar that's showing a number. That number is how accurate your current point is. You have to make sure that this is usually below 10 meters so that you can have a good approximation of the size of the farm. I'm going to proceed now by typing on the plus sign here where I will see three options. You will choose manual location recording as this allows you to choose at what point you capture a location. I'm clicking start now and automatically using where I am with my accuracy currently at four meters, I will record point by tapping it. At the bottom of the screen, you will notice that it is showing points entered one. This is going to tell you how many points you've recorded so far. And as I go along capturing this building, you will see how that increases. I'm going to walk around now to another corner where I will take the next point and you will see what happens. Now I'm going to take a second point. You will observe that when I record this point, it is going to connect my first location to the second one. And this is how the shape of the farm ultimately gets drawn. To capture a second location, I'm going to tap record point. I have moved from my previous location to another corner of the building that I am mapping, as you will see. If I zoom in by tapping on the location where my dots are, you can get a better view of the points or the building I'm trying to map. This is point two. I'm going to proceed to capture points three and four now. I have captured three points already, and now I'm going to proceed to capture the fourth point. Take note of the fact that the number at the base of, in terms of points entered is now three. And when I capture the fourth point, it has drawn a shape over the building that I am capturing. It is important for you to be as accurate as possible. If you think the point you captured is not representative of what you want, you can use this backspace point, it's the shape with an X on it, to delete the most recent location and then record the point again. You will notice that my accuracy is six meters, so that's below the threshold of 10 meters. It has to be less than 10 meters for us to accept. Once done, I have a shape on my phone. Now, which in your case will be the shape of the farm. I just marked the building where I'm in. You proceed to press save, which is the last button, the lowest button, just below the bin. When you save, you will see a set of numbers like this, which are the coordinates for where you have just captured. Click next or swipe to the left to go on and take a picture of the farm. Next, I'm going to take a picture of the farm. But in my case, since I'm capturing a building, I'm going to be taking a picture of this building. I will tap take picture, which automatically activates my camera and allows me to take a picture of the building. I will obscure certain details and take a picture. In your case, you should try and take as broad a view of the farm as possible to make sure that we can see landmarks around the farm and have other reference ways, reference points with which we can identify the farm itself. This concludes the demonstration on how to capture the location. You will take the GPS coordinates of the farm 
as well as a picture of the farm, including as many landmarks as possible in that view. Thank you. So you have seen how we captured the farm area. It is important to take note that the accuracy of the GPS signal is a very critical consideration. This must always be below 10 meters. What you want to be careful about is making sure that you stand still for a couple of seconds, 5 to 15 seconds, so that the quality of the signal can improve. So this gives you more accurate coordinates and the area is closer to what the real size of the farm is. If you have any questions, feel free to contact our support team using the following channels and we will always be here to assist you. Thank you.